Lars, what do you say to the team after a game like that? Really, really hard fought, are they? Oh, that was uh, that was a tough one. Uh, once again, we we met a, a proper men's team. Uh, did everything they could to bully us and give us a real match, and uh, it was a real match. Uh, and, we, and we took it into we took it into extra time. And I, I, I will be honest to say, I'll be very very sad if we didn't win this game afterwards. But uh, it was a good performance once again. Uh, we need to remember what we have been through. Um, um, so yeah, happy and proud for the guys, and now we're in, a, in another semi-final. How do you compare that to the game in, in Munich a few days ago? Because they're, they're very different atmospheres, but at the same time, very tough games. Yeah, it's it's totally different. But uh, once again, we can take a lot of this uh, with us for uh, for the future as well, because we need to prepare uh, well and we need to be ready. No matter it's Munich, or it's uh, it's it's a plate like like Wingate here. So, so it's more we. We need to we need to make sure we are, we we got the right mindset. Um, and yeah, it was a, a different game. Uh, they tried to park the bus and they did it well. Tried to go for the counters and they were really 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 strong at set pieces. At at cost us cost us very big problems uh, and also scored a few goals in there. So um, yeah, we we need to deal with that and, and that's just another experience. What did you say to the boys at the start of extra time? Because for most of them, that's a completely different experience as well, going into a game that goes to that extra 30 minutes. Yeah. First of all, that's, we, we, can, we can agree that there's a lot of things we should do better. Uh, but what we, have, what we agreed uh, in the beginning of the game was actually what we just sh we should continue or even do better uh, at the extra time. Um, move the ball quickly, um, play with few touches, Try to pass through lines when the gap was open, and actually that's what caused us the biggest problem because we didn't do that well enough. Um, but we got our chances, and uh, we we missed big, big chances as well. So it was it was much much more about how how quick could we move the ball, and and the only the only way they could get chances was set pieces and and transitions. Two semi-finals, as you say. A tough few games coming up for Brentford B again. Yeah, uh, next week it's uh, it's Huddersfield, and uh, then we prepare for uh, for a good trip to Portugal, where we have another three uh, <laughs> different and very uh, difficult games. Um, so the first uh, two months for Brentford B will be uh, a tough test, but that's what uh, that's why we're here. We try to develop the young guns and prepare them for uh, a hopefully bright future. And obviously Ellery came into the team today as well as Mads and, and Marcus back in there. Again, very different atmosphere in the room as well and it must change the vibe in the dressing room as well. Yeah, yeah. They are, they are as many of the other, all the other guys actually good characters and, and uh, a product of, of the B team. So uh, they just f found the role very quickly and uh, yeah, settled in. So it's good to have them here and good to, to see them playing, uh, give them some minutes. Good to see Marcus back with a, with a goal. Good to see Ellery in the goal and, and also Mats uh, running 120 minutes. Uh, minutes. Joe Hardy scored another two tonight. How much is he knocking on Thomas's door right now? When he continues to score goals, he, he do the different difficult things in, in football to score goals. So of course uh, we need to uh, we need to pushing him and, and also uh, he need to to uh, to push the door to to Thomas's office. Uh, when when that said, there's a lot of things we need to develop also for Joe. Um, so there's different areas he, he needs to progress us and improve as well but uh, yeah it's massive what he's doing right now it's uh, I think it's goal number 24 tonight so uh, it just I'm so happy for him I'm proud um, not only here but maybe other places uh, in the country uh, when, when when players like him score as many goals as, as he do so of course he uh, he knock on the door